Jo, måndag update, den börjar den här veckan med lite tävlingsresultat. I helgen som gick i lördags här nu så vann alltså H60-laget. Hultas H60-lag vann alltså slutspelet borta på Kins Golfklubb för hela Västergötland. En stor prestation, grattis grabbar! Ha med mig en förstklapp så inte jag glömmer någon namn här. Laget det bestod av Tord Gustafsson, Anders Svensson, Perle Winger, Lars Forsman, Thomas Nilsson och Mikael J. Andersson. Grattis grabbar! Vi hade också igår här på Hulta besök av VGFs Ladies Tour. Och ett glatt stort gäng av tjejer var här och spelade och i A-klass då vann alltså Marie Engvall i B-klass med en fantastisk resultat av 62 netto och 80 brutto. Patricia, se om jag uttalar efternamnet rätt här, Mababazi och i C-klass då vann alltså hemma spelare Emma Alming, Almingefält. Eh, värt att notera också bra placeringar i B-klass för hemmaspelare också av Anneli Lindgren Kedehag och i C-klass andra plats där var Lena Fransson och tack till Livis eh, tur den ni besöktes här på Hulta, jättekul. Eh, det var tävlingsresultat som gick i helgen, nu ska vi gå och leta efter Phil för då ska han berätta lite grann om ett åtgärd som ska göras senare under säsongen. Häng med! Continue with the Monday update, and a continuation of what we talked about on yep, Friday. Yeah, yeah. Morning to you as well. Sorry, Morning, David. Yeah. Morning, everyone. We we're talking on uh, Friday about the, this job that has to be done towards the end of the season, which yeah. none of the golfers enjoy. No, of course, it's no. called the uh, Jupelöfning in the old Swedish language. Yeah, yeah. But we call it hollow coring. Right. What is hollow coring? Hollow coring is basically putting a machine onto the greens with a pin like this. It's got it. Yeah. Sorry, I've not done anything. No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I won't put it somewhere, <laughs> apart from in the green. Right. Um, basically, it's a tine. We can get various size tines, various thickness, various depths, uh, various lengths. And basically, as you can see, it's got a hollow piece in the side, in, in the middle, um, and a core. And basically, what happens? Yeah, you keep, keep chatting. You keep chatting away. Basically, what happens is the machine goes into the ground pulls out a core of soil uh, which includes uh, some of the thatch that's uh, accumulated over the course of the season. It removes this, we then put sand in to fill the holes. Basically the process is removing bad soil, putting good sand in, uh, then that allows uh, water to go in, air to come out, bad gases to come out. Here's the question for you. <clears throat> this, this, you see this all over Sweden towards the yeah. end of September usually yeah. every year. Yeah. If you didn't do it, yeah. what would happen? Do you get an accumulation of thatch? Basically, thatch is dead in decaying matter. Uh, thatch builds up, and it becomes when it when it becomes wet, it becomes like a sponge, so it holds the moisture. The, the, the greens become soft. In the summer period, it dries out. The greens become hard. So it then is harder to get moisture into the grass, into the soil, into the soil profile, uh, enabling the the the, uh, the roots to develop and go down. Right. So basically, it, is, it creates a layer, uh, not enabling the roots to become healthy. So basically, what we do is we put this in onto a machine with it's about a meter and a half wide, and it goes in to a certain depth, and what happens is it pulls out a mm. core such as this yeah okay on the top layer you've Pull got your grass here we can sort of show that the viewers uh, top layer is obviously the grass down here you have your thatch layer mm. some thatch is good because it holds good uh, nutrients mm. uh, and good microbes some thatch is uh, too much thatch is bad as i just said uh, becomes soft uh, in in rain so basically that is your thatch and you yeah. can see it's holding together because we've got 
roots yeah. underneath, yeah. which is good. good stuff. So the roots are coming through there, but this top layer is thatch, and if we had a lot of rain, I could do squeeze that and it would become, it's, it's like a sponge, yeah. and water would actually come out of that. We've got good, yeah. good roots coming through there, yeah. so that, that's, I'm happy with that. But obviously it's a, lot, it's a process to remove the thatch right. uh, and put some right. good good yeah. good sand in uh, and this will be all over the greens on all the greens it's a normal process every golf course does it at some period at the end of the season because obviously the play is diminishing but it gives us an opportunity to punch some holes in get give some good sand in remove the thatch ready for the start of the yes, next so. season okay. so it's a normal process that has to be done and we're, and we're thinking kind of doing that maybe Toward, we're towards the end of September. Towards the end of September. Yeah. You, you've yeah. got the the chance, the option, uh, sorry, the 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 opportunity then of having some warmer temperatures, yeah. which yeah. Uh, aids the recovery on the greens. Unfortunately, the greens aren't going to be billiard like straight away, no, but no. it's a process that has to be, has done, to be done to get them ready yeah. for the start of next season. Right. We can also do it at the, the, the start of next season just to, to aid that as well. Mm. So the more thatch is removed, the, the better the greens will become. Perfect. Right, Nuri Fortney. Thank you very much. Explanation on, on what I have a tea or var for most of your day. Also, I'm sorry, the comma at your day for more than trade you reckon on September. Otherwise, this week it's just basic sort of uh, basic maintenance. Cut, cut, yeah. cut roll, change holes cut as, roll, change as per holes. normal. Yeah. There's, there's uh, uh, spraying to be done, so right. I'll be out spraying the greens with some fertiliser uh, this week, possibly tomorrow. Right. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, cold mornings, <laughs> big thick coats, <laughs> David rubbing his hands because he's cold, freezing. It's cold, <laughs> uh, uh, but just no normal processes this week, Good so stuff. not too much interruption for the golfers. Got O green fee, 475 krona per bar dog, or 550 krona per hell yard. Welcome to Hilta, and thanks, Phil, for a morning chat. Thanks, <laughs> I'm getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs>